Hello, I'm Mary O'Malley, and I'm inviting you to explore living in the now. So take a moment and just look around the space you're in. Really see it as if you've never been here before, because even if you've been in this space a thousand times, it's totally brand new. See shadows and light. See colors, shapes, and lines. Really see your life. What we're doing here is pulling your attention out of your stories about life and bringing it right here to life in the only moment that matters in your whole life right now. So were you able to do this? The chances are you weren't. You may have decided just to keep on listening to the video or you decided, oh, I don't know how to do that or I won't do it good enough or right enough. We're caught in our minds. Deepak Chopra says we have 65,000 thoughts a day. And I add that 95% of them are repeats from the day before. Our mind has become a prison, limiting us to the world of just thinking about life. Life is a wonderful tool for maneuvering through reality. It's necessary, but it's a horrible prison. And everything you long for and everything you truly are is to be found right here, right now. This is dawning on human consciousness, so much so that there's so much written about living in the now. So much that it's even in advertising. Oh, if you buy this car, you will be able to live in the now. Or something such as that. I saw an ad once and I just laughed and laughed and laughed. There's a couple of really great difficulties with that concept of living in the now. First of all, it says, if you just live in the now, then you will know unending bliss. The difficulty with that is that the now is constantly changing. It opens and closes, like it opens into day and it closes into night. It opens into the warmth of summer and it closes into the cold of winter. Life is constantly changing. The now is constantly changing. It gets easy and then it gets difficult. It gets joyous and it gets sorrowful. And living in the now isn't about unending bliss. It's learning the art of showing up for life as it is. The other great difficulty is that you already are in the now. And trying to get into the now is only more struggle. I can't tell you how many people have come to me and said, oh, Mary, I don't do living in the now very well. Well, they're saying my mind can't do living in the now. That's not how we rediscover this living moment. So the best way I've described it is, imagine the most beautiful ocean you could possibly imagine. And this ocean extends forever. And I call this ocean the ocean of being. This is your true nature. This is who you truly are. And when you were born, 
You were born from this ocean of being and you lived in it as it until thoughts began to fill up your head. And you began to get ideas of what you should be and you shouldn't be. Ram Dass, our, I call him our uncle, our, our um, elder that has done this path back to the now a little bit before most of us. Uh, he calls it somebody training. And slowly and surely we pull ourselves up and out of our bodies. We learn how to tighten them. We learn how to hold our breath. And we learn to think our way through our lives, always trying to be what we think we should be and trying to make life be what we think it should be. So floating on this beautiful ocean of being is a small opaque bubble. And I call it the bubble of struggle. And that is what we all crawled into as we were growing up. And it's opaque because you can't see the ocean of being, even though it is a part of the ocean of being, it's floating on the ocean of being, we can't see it. And if you had a little door on your forehead, and you could open it up and watch the ticker tape of your thoughts all day long, you would see your bubble of struggle. Now, most of the struggles are not very big. They're just, I don't know, impatience about uh, the length of the stoplight or waiting for a doctor or, uh, oh my God, a new pimple on your face or, oh, just maybe my waistband's a little bit tighter than yesterday, or uh, maybe the grocery store clerk is flirting with the person ahead of you, and, uh, and it really brings uh, great frustration. All of these are the little struggles. That's what the bubble of struggle is mostly made up of. But we all meet big struggles in our lives, the big struggle of rejection and heartache, the struggle of illness, uh, the struggle of, of great loss. How do we come out of the bubble of struggle and back into the ocean of being? Back into this intimate and alive connection with life that we long for. I don't care what you long for, whether you long for more money or a different body or even more better health really long for is an intimate, alive connection with life as it is right here and right now. But you can't get there because trying to get there keeps you caught in the bubble of struggle. So what we are doing is learning how to get to know how your mind struggles to learn how to relate to the stories in your head rather than from it. To be able to shift from saying, oh, I am so anxious. Oh, anxiousness is here. Or I feel so lonely. Oh, the lonely one is here. In other words, you become who you truly are that which can see your bubble of struggle rather than being caught in its endless washing, mean, washing machine cycle that goes around and around and around. So that's how we become free, how the now begins to reveal itself. Not trying to get to it, but to bring the light of our accepting attention to everything that keeps us separate from this living moment. So if this calls to you, I invite you to become a part of my course that is launching soon. What's in your way is the way. And that just says a lot about that title, it says a lot about how to get free from the bubble of struggle. What's in your way is the way. In fact, the greatest challenges of your life can be where the doorways are back 
into life. You can find out more about the course on my website, maryomalley.com. And if it interests you, I would love to give you a discount. So just email Devra. She is uh, in charge of the course. And you can find her email uh, under the contacts page uh, at maryomalley.com. And tell her where you heard about this. And she will send you your discount. So if this doesn't interest you right now to become a part of the course, I invite you to give yourself a few minutes every day where you choose something that is happening in the now. And usually what we do is we use our senses because the mind can think its way into what's happening in the now. But we ground in our senses. We listen to the music of life all around us. Or we really taste our breakfast in the morning. Or we really feel the water as it's, as it's cascading over us in our morning shower. And the key is to choose one focus for a few minutes. You know, don't do it for a long time because your mind will get frustrated at the beginning. But choose a focus and really experience it, whether it's listening, tasting, or feeling. And watch your mind, your attention, go back up into your mind, back up into stories. Oh my God, this bagel sounds so good. I got to find out where my partner got this bagel because we need to get more of those. And then all of a sudden you're back into your mind. Don't be dismayed by that. You've only lived in thought most of your life. And so when you notice you're gone into your mind again, just say story and then bring your attention back to your focus. And the more you do that, the more you begin to see there is life. And then there are your stories about life. And you begin to see that they pale in comparison with the real thing. Give yourself this gift. And if it calls to you, come explore with us. What's in your way is the way.